up guys welcome back to a new tutorial here I'm showing you how to make a rope physics project um, when I tried to record it earlier it just didn't work even though I was doing the codes right um, so I'm just going to show you guys the codes and try my best to explain it also you're going to need some um, variables you're gonna need gravity and these are the range just so to set it to this for the change slider range and then this one is like 0 to 72 uh, 300 and this one is 0, 0.00 to 10.00 okay so first you're gonna get a rope sprite and say so one click to hide erase all and then um this is like a good starting thing for the variables i'm going to set the amount of bones to 74 the gravity to negative 100 um 1.21 1 and the rope density to 1.194 and then you're gonna clone the amount of clones variable and the clone block is run without screen refresh. And what you're gonna do is I have a variable called ID for this sprite only. And what you do is you set it to one, and then you repeat how many clones you're doing. You add zero then to the node X and node Y so that they can have a spot in the list and then you clone itself. And then you change the ID by one. And then when it is a clone, then what it's gonna do is show, but it's gonna set the ghost to 100. So you won't actually be able to see it. And then if the ID is one, which is, would be like the main sprite, you're going to go to the mouse point. It's going to go to the mouse pointer and then refresh um, its clone ID. So what this is does it, is it replaces the item of the node X and the item of the node Y, the ID item, with its new X and Y position. And then else you're going to just change the X by item. Um, ID minus one of node X minus the X position and then divided by the density, the rope density. And then same thing for the Y, except change these to node Y and Y position, except we're also gonna be adding the gravity. And then this is also going to refresh with the ID. And this tutorial is probably gonna be really quick. So this is the last part right here. Then we're just gonna say forever render rope. And right here, all you do is set the pen color to like whatever you want your rope to look like. Put the pen size to your whatever you want how thick you want it to be then erase all and put the pen up off the screen and it's going to go to the first item of both of these and then it's going to put the pen down and then so there's a variable called i1 which is for this right only and it's like the index sort of and so it sets it to two because it wants to be on the second item of the list and then it's going to repeat the amount of clones minus one because it's already done this first one um go to item i1 of node x and item i1 of node y and then it's going to change the i1 by one and then we have our cool rope except this part it just doesn't work on here but trust me it will work i mean if you do it right because it worked on my uh computer like my thing so it should work um it should work um if it doesn't work then I don't know what to do because I've already tried to record this a lot. So I just decided to do it this way. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it wasn't that good. I mean, I'll be making more videos soon. And I probably am going to make the next part of the clicker. And I'll show you guys how to add a shop. So um, yeah, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.